Oh, they're in character always with the color. Oh, that's sick. Yo, what's up, TFM Nation? It's me, the TFM Monster here again. We're back once again with Oshinoko. This is season 2, episode 1, or episode 12 of the whole series. Because it's considered episode 12. So, um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if I should title this as Oshinoko episode 12 or season 2, episode 1. I think I'll just title the episode 12. But anyway. Yeah. I already heard the opening and the ending theme. So, but I haven't seen the visuals. Okay. It's been leaked and people have recorded the opening. I'm like, no, I'm not watching that. So I want the full experience, you know, because I want to record myself. The reason, okay, here's the thing about reacting, okay? The reason I, why I want to record myself, not only for you guys to see my reaction, is also because for me to relive that moment, you know? What was my reaction at the time? Was I really overhyped? Was I really hyped about this series or something like that? You know, that's why I record my reactions. So it's not something that I just do on a whim. You know, that's why I want to record myself reacting to the series and other things like the opening and the ending theme. So, yeah, I haven't seen the visuals. So, yeah, but I know what the song is, uh, Fatale or Fatal, and um, Burning, which is the ED, all right? Um, I don't know if I should react to the ED first, because the opening isn't out yet at the time, <laughs> because it's 10.54 p.m. It's going to release at 11 p.m., the opening, but the ED is already released. So, uh, should I react to it? All right, I'll just read it probably react to it after i record this intro so yeah anyway let's jump right into episode 12 of oshinoko or season 2 episode 1 so like i said i'm a big fan of oshinoko that's why i bought the mangas all right <laughs> as you can see it's complete as of this moment all right volume 6 isn't out yet in my country but it will be soon so yeah as you can see behold bask in the glory out of all these, I love this cover a lot. <laughs> Akane. This is the the volume that we will start with in this uh, episode. So, here we go. Akane fans. Yeah. I also love Kana, okay? I'm not starting a war or anything. I'm not like my friend who is an, a pure Akane stan, you know? I'm not starting a war. I love both girls, but it's just a tiny bit. I love Akane way more. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, let's jump right in to the Tokyo Blade arc. Here we go. So, a uh, Patreon shoutout obviously goes to these three lovely members over on my Patreon. They get the early access, or not the early access, but the full reaction, the full experience with the audio and visual. Not covered, and, you know, unlike this one, it's only a time code with no audio. So, yeah, and the visual is covered up. So, yeah, hopefully Oshinoko doesn't copyright me, unlike uh, <clears throat> a sign of affection. Once again, like I said, this is right now at the time of this recording. It's on my backup channel. So, yeah, unlike uh, probably when I'll re-upload this on my main channel, the TFM Nation, uh, you'll see this again. So, yeah. Anyway, um, my main channel will be back up and running by next week, by the time episode 2 comes out of season 2 or episode 13. So, yeah. Anyway, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the post. Always stay with us. And my future videos, future uploads, is on the channel. With that being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. Here we go, Oshinoko. <laughs> this, uh, what? It's already been. They're gonna show it already. The stage play. That's Sayahime, right? Sayahime? I don't know. I haven't seen the opening, so this will be my blind reaction as well. Oh, 
a particular sword. This is cool. It's like I'm actually watching a stage play, a theatrical play. Wow, that's sick. Blade. Oh, that's Kana's character. Yeah. Tsurugi. Wait, Himikawa's character is Blade? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The returning one. I forgot his name. I'm so sorry. Lama. <laughs> I just rewatched it. What the heck? Oh, this is the other one. Monme. Pretty sure I butchered that, but anyway. <laughs> oh, this is Aqua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toki. And then Sayahime, right? Oh, I'm so excited, man. Princess Saya. Yeah, Sayahime. Hime. It's princess, so that's why it's Saya Hime, Princess Saya. Oh, that's cool. I love the, uh, oh, all right. This is so epic. Tokyo Blade. I love that establishment. All right, stage play. Oh, <laughs> opening. Here we go. Oh, that's sick. Oh, my God. Oh, this is sick. Yo, the visuals already. Oh. What? The visuals. Koyo kikaste, koyo kikaste. What? The visuals are so. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is sick! Chimete, 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 I. Mete, kimete, kimete, I. Kisete, 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 I. Moku wo mite ni te de saiyai no fatale. Oh! Oh! Saiyai no fatale. Oh, that's. Oh, wow, that. Oh my god, that opening is so good! <laughs> that's so good! The visuals are insane! Doga Kobo, man. Sayahime died? Really? Interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. First day for her, so. Melt, right, melt. Oh, okay. Hmm. A cute girlfriend. Mm. 
still peak episode. That was a peak arc, by the way. That was my favorite episode, by the way. Episode 6. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For context, I've been spoiled through the latest chapters of the manga because of the fandom spoiling me on Twitter. God damn it. <laughs> so I know who the father is, alright? So that's why after season 2, I'm reading the manga, alright? Mm-hmm, okay. Mm, okay. Nah. <laughs> 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 mm -mm. You don't? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. I agree with that. Nah, that ain't the father. <laughs> I know what a father looks like. I persona? Alright. Okay. <laughs> That's Himikawa, right? I really love the coloring already. Himikawa, Koki Uchiyama's voice. That's so sick. Bro, that's so sick. I love that. Every time I see that. Protagonist! Okay! Oh! Oh, they're in character! Oh, it's with the color! Oh, that's sick! Oh! Oh, it's- they're painting it! <laughs> What? Oh, that's sick! Yo! 
Whoa, 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 The voice acting is top notch. Oh my god. Yo, the animation. And the art, the art style. Holy shiz. True. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh 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 oh. Oh, I can I can I can I. The old are. <laughs> I can tell. Look at that can Even Aqua, eh? Third day, okay. True. Mm. Sure. Guys, we're actually doing a, a theatrical stage play as well. And it's a freaking Romeo and Juliet. I can't believe an anime trope is actually happening in in real life. Bro, <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I don't know why it happened to us. <laughs> oh, Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, okay. I can't read kanji. <laughs> Bro, everyone that I know, they're like, oh, manga, what's the manga? They don't know what light novel is. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> He's always been very negative. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Jealous, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Mediocre actors, yeah. Oh, okay. You have talent, man. You just don't see it. Well, I'm the same as well. Whenever people say I have talent, I'm like, huh, I don't know about that. Alright. Perfected. Akane. Let's go with that. Oh, Akane's Akane's vision is
Well, everyone, well, not everyone, probably most. Ah. 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 Oh God, oh my God. I love that. Wow. Mm. <laughs> ah. Ah. Wait, what? They're deviating from the source, huh? True. Well, that's true. As a part of the entertainment industry. <laughs> no. See what I'm saying? The author gets the approval first. <laughs> when it comes to adaptation. That's what people don't get, man. That's why they're called the consultants. Hmm. Ah. Uh. It's funny. <laughs> He's stepping in. <laughs> Bro, he's so blunt. The runtime! Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it. I get it, yeah. 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 Yeah, true. True. And this is what the fandom doesn't understand when it comes to adaptation as well. Oh my god. Yo, we're learning a lot from this anime. Mm. Well, damn, bro!
there's there's the author of the stage play, right? The Tokyo Blade, right, right. Tokyo Blade. What am I saying? Yay, she's back. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, true. Mo that's very much true. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah, they're very passionate. Every one of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, the ED is playing. Oh! Huh. What? Wait, what? Okay. Apparently, there hasn't much changed. So, sorry about that. <laughs> ED. So let's just continue watching this in the on the Netflix then. I love the ED song way more, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is all about Ruby. I love that they have the aspect ratio again. Ooh. Crying. Oh I Oh, this is all about Ruby. Last one Mephisto was all about Aqua. Oh, the crow, of course. All right, that's Oshinoko season two. I love the ED. I'm sorry that I abruptly cut that out because uh, I thought for sure, like Mephisto, they're gonna edit and cut some parts out. But anyway, I'm just gonna have to cut or edit that in my editing. Anyway, wow, okay. I love the opening and I love the ED. Oh my God, bro. The opening's visuals are insane. The ED's visuals are, has like the same kind of uh tone and uh visual aesthetics as Mephisto the first ED and I don't I th I think it's the same ED director so yeah probably anyway the first episode or episode 12 of Oshinoko is really really good it sets up what's about to happen in Tokyo Blade Arc and <laughs> change of the script i did not expect that that <laughs> what <laughs> the author will change the entire script okay here's the thing in the entertainment industry you can't say no to the author as well you know there are times where you can't say no or when you can't say no to the author you know but if the author doesn't have you know 
that much uh, creativity when it comes to this kind of play or anything like that. That's why the author is called the consultant of uh, the everything that's been adapted from their work. So, yeah, they're not a part of the you know the thingamajig that's happening, but they are the consultants of the adaptation of because it's their source. You know, I love that Oshinoko continues to delve you know or dive deeper to the entertainment industry because i am a part of the film community so i know what's going on with the entertainment industry that's why i'm giving you guys some uh guidance or um anything that you want to learn or you need to learn from this industry side of things because you guys still don't get it uh just like the classroom of the elite adaptation you guys don't get it or anything that's been adapted recently or anything that's been adapted for the past few years you should understand that there are times that the author isn't in full control so yeah anyway first episode of season two awesome it was very very good so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on the next one i will re-upload this on my main channel but for now it's on my backup channel so yeah all right see you guys then peace out